Glasgow's full of some incredible architecture, but so much of it we miss because we never look up. My name's Adrian Searle, I'm the author of a book called Look Up Glasgow, and today we're on St Vincent Street at number 144 at the Hat Rack. The Hat Rack is one of Glasgow's Art Nouveau masterpieces from the turn of the 19th and 20th century. It was designed by one of its most famous architects, James Salmon Jr. Salmond is a great example of a third generation architect. His grandfather was an architect and his father was an architect and he grew up immersed in the world of Glasgow architecture and he was of course the one who went on to greatest international renown. Salmon's nickname was the Wee Trout, and he was an exponent of Art Nouveau, the style that made Glasgow famous worldwide. The building was revolutionary because the structural skeleton was all contained inside the building, not in the outer walls. That gave uh, the architect creative license to include over 40 windows at the front of the building. If you look just above the entranceway, there's a beautiful projecting stained glass window um, showing some ships, uh, which relates, of course, to Glasgow's nautical history. Art Nouveau is known for its fantastic detailing, and we can see here, uh, even on the lifts, there's beautiful wrought ironwork. Decoration is at the heart of Art Nouveau style, and most of the inspiration was taken from nature. Art Nouveau artists would draw flowers or trees and then stylize them. One of the great pieces of Art Nouveau decoration inspired by plants is the incredible spire at the very top of the building. But to the ordinary people of Glasgow, it looked a bit like a hat rack and hence the name that stuck. The building's seven storeys high, which makes it the equivalent of a 19th century skyscraper. Since it was built in 1902, it's been used for everything from tea rooms to offices. The Scottish Professional Footballers Association was even based here. The building was completely refurbished in 1990, but believe it or not, in 2005, plans were lodged to demolish this Glasgow icon. There was a huge campaign to save the building, and luckily Historic Scotland stepped in, saving the hat rack for the city and the people of Glasgow.